this is my favourite. And they say she could possibly be the oldest in the park. It's a magnificent oak. It's only when you get up close to her that you see how big it actually is, you know. They cap it at 400, but I'll buy anyone a steak dinner if she's not a lot older than that. There's much smaller trees in other parts of the park with planting stones that we know were planted in the 1500s. Much smaller. I think it's inconceivable that this wasn't here before the Spencers. I mean, it is a, a very old tree. And to think what it's witnessed is mind-boggling. My name's Adrian Greeno. Everyone knows me as AD. I work here as the conservation manager at Althorpe, and I've worked here for around 34 years. I worked for the Earl when he was the Viscount, and um, it's uh, still ongoing. Just a small, tiny piece of Althorpe's time, really. I was haunting Althorpe at a very early age. I was born in Kingsthorpe, two fields away from the boundary. You know, my childhood was, was spent there and um, it must be protected and looked after. A lot of my job at the moment is recording what we're doing. I've normally got a camera with me, documenting the changes, the seasons, monitoring the moths, saprolactic beetles, the ecology, the soil, the trees, the mammals, the birds. And that's what drives me, the love of nature. With conservation, it does what it says. We're conserving, but we're also trying to take the estate into a much, much better place. He knows every single square inch of the estate, every field, the history of it, who's farmed it. He's incredibly intelligent. He's always showing me things that I didn't even know, uh, which he's assuming I did. Uh, he's this incredible font of knowledge, and he loves this place. Could well be from a much older bridge. This is one of my favorite spots. You can look down the valley, down to the stable block, Straight up to the pinnacle of the hill, you've got St Mary's Church, which is the family church. It's just, a, it's just a really beautiful spot. It's something that he's never really seen. AD is, is a treasure. I can't tell you how much we depend on him. He knows everything about everything. And that's not even an exaggeration. He knows about the monuments, about the water system about the history of so many corners of the estate. We're just so lucky that he's sharing all that wisdom. This is one of the planting stones. There's nine of what I'd call proper planting stones that let us know the age of the woodlands in the different parts of the park. This wood was planted by Robert Lord Spencer in the year of our Lord 1600 to 1603. It's a, so it's a tradition that's carried on right to the old now. Right up to Princess Diana's stone, which was the last date stone to be done in the series of the date stone. There's no reason why they shouldn't still be there in the next 500 years. It's such forethought that what they'd done years ago for us to see these fantastic trees. And that's why it's so important putting trees in now for the future generations. This is the oak tree planted in 1954 by Queen Elizabeth II. The one just over the side from it, the Duke of Edinburgh, the same day. And you look at them and they're not big trees, they're just nice oaks. They're, they're still babies, little, little, little babies small compared to the other one. Everyone today 
you do something, you want to see it, you want to see it yesterday or whatever, you know, you, you've got to just have, you know, look at what they've done a few hundred years, that's all you're going to see. You're only here for a fraction. We have a moral obligation to keep these things and to better these things. I was lucky enough to be given the chance. Don't forget to go to spencer1508.com to register for free for our weekly newsletter.